Good morning. Welcome, God's people. You reached Waiting for the One, Grace Podcast, Scriptures Read Daily from New Living Translation Bible, along with daily greetings, requests for happy birthdays, births, anniversaries, other prayer requests, poems, and more. Let us begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, let your word resonate and penetrate in us and give us faith, love, hope, health, wisdom, strength, and all we need for today. Amen. Psalm 91 is a protection prayer. The recommendation of reading or hearing it is one to two times daily. Today, we recite it together. That is Psalm 91, 1 to 16. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust him. For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands, so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. The first scripture of the day is Genesis 6, 8. But Noah found favor with the Lord. The next scripture is Exodus 34, 9. And he said, O Lord, If it is true that I have found favor with you, then please travel with us. Yes, this is a stubborn and rebellious people, but please forgive our iniquity and our sins. Claim us as your own special possession. There is an important note for the scripture of John 6, 43-51. The person that is speaking the words in the scripture is Jesus. And the person that they're speaking about is Jesus. It is not the narrator. The next scripture is John 6, 43 to 51. But Jesus replied, stop complaining about what I said, for no one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws them to me. And at the last day, I will raise them up. As it is written in the scriptures, they will all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to the Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has ever seen the Father, only I, who was sent from God, have seen him. I tell you the truth. Anyone who believes has eternal life. Yes, I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate manna in the wilderness. 
but they all died. Anyone who eats the bread from heaven, however, will never die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. And this bread, which I will offer so the world may live, is my flesh. We have another important note in the scripture of Romans 8, 6. When they are speaking on the spirit that can control your mind to lead to life and peace, the spirit that they are speaking of is the Holy Spirit. You need to be aware that there is other not so good spirits out there. So be careful that you're following or letting them guide you and that it is the correct spirit, which is the Holy Spirit. The next scripture is Romans 8, 6. So letting your sinful nature control your mind leads to death, but letting the spirit control your mind leads to life and peace. We have another important note for the scripture of 1 Timothy 2, 3 through 6. This scripture is very important, extremely important. Please pay close attention to it. Thank you. The next scripture is 1 Timothy. Timothy 2, 3 to 6, and it is the last scripture of the day. This is good and pleases God, our Savior, who wants everyone to be saved and to understand the truth. For there is only one God and one mediator who can reconcile God and humanity. The man, Christ Jesus. He gave his life to purchase freedom for everyone. This is the message God gave to the world at just the right time. Now we have extra suggestive reading. Genesis 6, 1-22. Exodus 34, 1-35. John 6, 1 to 71, Romans 8, 1 to 39, 1 Timothy 2, 1 to 15. Today we have a new category. It is a song. And to be exact, it is a teaching counting song from 1 to 10. The title of the counting song is I Know You Are Here With Me. One, two, God always has his eyes on you. Three, four, only God can open my opportunity door. Five, six, Jesus rode on the sand with the stick. Seven, eight, God, you're always on time and never late. Nine, ten, God, I can count on you time and time again. Today we have two birthdays. Happy birthday to Alicia and our neighbor. We have a message for Alicia and our neighbor from Fernando and Lori. Have a God-blessed birthday today and always. We have a message for the people of Afghanistan. Our prayers are with you, the people of Afghanistan. Keep the hope alive.
We now have two birthday prayers. So let us begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless Alicia today on her birthday. Pour in many blessings that overfill and run into every area of her life. We ask this through Jesus' broken body and through Jesus' bloodshed. In Christ Jesus' name, amen. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. We have another birthday prayer. Let's begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God bless our neighbor today on his birthday. Pour in many blessings that overfill and run into every area of his life. We ask this through Jesus' broken body and through Jesus' bloodshed. In Christ Jesus' name, amen. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now we have a prayer for the people in Afghanistan. Let us begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, we ask that you stop and block the Taliban from their tracks of trying to take over Afghanistan. And for those who are not part of that group to take over, bring all your people that are not part of that group to safety. Renew and transform those minds of the Taliban that are in that group to do your work, Jesus. If not, you deal with them as you choose, for your will will be done. We ask this through Jesus' broken body and through Jesus' bloodshed in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening and joining in with us. We look forward to you listening in with us tomorrow. Tomorrow's category is imagery response and the title is A Changing World. Birthdays, occasional prayers, requests can be left at wishingwell142 at gmail.com. The two W's are capitalized and the remaining letters are lowercased. If you're interested in becoming part of our prayer team and transforming into a prayer warrior, please leave your name and cell phone number at the same email as the birthday and prayer requests. We look forward to your requests and you becoming part of our prayer team. Have a God-blessed, triumphant Tuesday for yourselves and your families. Amen.